Hey everybody, this is uh, Jared from Good Times Jared. I wanted to talk today about how to finish up your Amigurumi project. Um, I have a bear here that I'm working on, at least the body and the head, and there's two ends that I need to tie off and bury the uh, strings. And I've seen some other people do it, and I found a unique way that's kind of fun if you want to see it. Um, I'll show you on both sides. It's pretty simple, it doesn't take too much time, and I'll tell you a couple reasons why I like doing it. So, a few things you need. You need a nice pair of scissors. These cost about five bucks at any craft store. I like doing this versus other scissors just because they're super sharp and they're able to, to cut the yarn easily. Um, it's nice to have a darning needle. Uh, I, get a I get a metal one. I would not get a plastic one just because it bends and it can break easily. So nice metal one. These again, a couple bucks, you'll buy, buy you 10 on Amazon. So how you do this is you take your darning needle and I go through and kind of stitch through a couple of the stitches that are previously done. And what it does is just kind of shrinks up that hole a little bit. And that's all I'm looking for. Doesn't need to be too crazy. If you want to go in between, I think it's fine too. But um, sometimes I like towards the end going through uh, one of the other, one of the middle stitches here like that. And it helps kind of cinch up it nice and tight here and when you get it close where there's just like a little bit opening you can do one more through one of the sides here like that and what you do is you go through and you pull through but you don't pull through all the way and so now you have the free loop here attached to uh, the last loop attached to the yarn and what you do from here is you reach through the loop take your two fingers your thumb and your index finger and you grab the yarn all right and what you do is you pull it through and then the bottom part will actually cinch down a knot and that's one and you do it again so you have a loop you grab the bottom part here the bottom part that's attached to the yarn and you pull it through again. I do two and then I'll do one more. You grab it and I pull it through. And then you bring, the last part is you bring the yarn all the way through and that finishes off the knot right there. Okay, so you got a little chain of knots and it's tied up and this is actually how surgeons finish off sutures in the operating room. Last thing you do is you find the middle hole, you find the center where you're going, where you, where you want to close it off and you put the needle right through and you just pull it out the side somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfect and what I do is I pull it all the way through here and what happens is it disappears. And then what I do is I pull it Grab your scissors. You pull it tight, cut it, and boom. Completely disappeared. And so the two reasons why I like this is number one, I think it's kind of fun. Number two, that's knot is super tight, so it's never gonna come undone. And number three is you can bury the knot and it makes it look nice and nice and tidy at the at the very end and then you have to worry about trying to bury the yarn or hide it or have it kind of unravel sometime when someone's playing with it okay so we'll go through it one more time here on this end here and so this one is almost done because the other side was where I started with the magic ring this one you can kind of crochet all the way down so there's not much left here so I'm just going to grab this last stitch right here and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull it, pull it through and so you're going to see the 
the yarn like this where there's a loop where you're not quite pulled all the way through and again you take your thumb and your index finger and you grab the the yarn at the loose end and you pull it through and then you pull the bottom part so I'm pulling the bottom part and you kind of scoot it down and it seats onto a knot and just goes a little tight okay you go again that's one two and then three and then the last one you don't have to do three I like just I like doing three just because it makes it nice and tight you put the last one all the way through and it cinches it up okay so now you got this string of knots together and you got a little opening you find the little opening at the very end here and you put your needle all the way through again you don't have to go through it doesn't have to be all the way through the end pull it through somewhere on the side a little bit further away just gives you enough room to bury the knot all the way through and you see how it's curled up right there and all I'm looking to do now is to pull all the way through and then the needle or the the, the yarn is out this way you pull it a little bit tight cut it squish it around and boom this is what you're looking for you're looking for not being able to see the knot and that's my goal is so not to see the uh, not see how it where it ends up and um, yeah looks nice and tidy um, if you have any questions send in the comments um, it's called it's called a French knot um, when doing knot tying and uh, it's it's helpful I like it and yeah Hope it helps you guys and hope it, it makes your makes your knots and fishing off looks nice a little bit nicer and I hope you have some fun with it too.